and we are live. All right. Hello, hello. Greetings. Hey. Long time no see. Yep, long time no see, stranger. <laughs> Pardon me for eating while we're meeting. I mean, we all got to eat, right? Yeah. I just, I just ate got, a, a whole, figured out how to cut that out of my life. <laughs> Not going to happen. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday uh, so far. We're, uh, some of you guys are with us for the second time today. We just wrapped up our coaching call with our group juice peeps and uh excited to hang out with you guys today. Talk yeah. about we cannot get enough of you too. <laughs> I love it. Good to see a couple new new faces. I like it. Hello. Hey Jennifer. It's good for you guys because we will be sharing a whole bunch of good stuff and y'all get to see it live and plus y'all get to jump on some other people other people uh, they have to catch the replay so y'all y'all will get to see uh the cool stuff we're sharing cool at the end too um so y'all got a little bit of an advantage we'll we'll try and wait a few minutes just because i know some folks are still coming on so we'll probably get cracking in the next five minutes and uh the training is going to be very simple to follow, not only from us delivering it to you guys, but for those of you that want to actually implement it so you can have your own offer, sell more of your products, how to take an idea, turn it into income. I think that's the biggest thing. We've uh, we've helped a bunch of people take an, a simple idea and turn it into income. Uh, one guy, we <clears throat> we helped do that, and he actually made money within 24 hours. So I'm not saying that wow. all of you will do that, but he was able to follow what we're going to teach you guys today. And within 24 hours, he was making sales with the idea. So that's pretty cool. Um, Let's see. Loaded question yeah. for you guys. How many of you guys have never been on a training with us before? I do see a couple new faces. So mm -hmm. um, just out of curiosity. I've I've never been in a program like this at all. Like this is the first time I've ever tried to jump into something to learn something like okay. this. Yeah. But it's awesome. I've been kind of a skeptic. <laughs> With totally fair reason. <laughs> totally get it. A lot of folks don't know, but uh, before I started trying to build an online business, I uh, I was probably the biggest skeptic you know just blue collar you know steel toes every day i didn't uh, i didn't believe in none of that shit i thought it was all bullshit and a scam um and I, I tried and failed for three plus years invested over 40 grand didn't have really shit to show for it by the way i say a lot of bad words if any of that offends any of you um i'm sorry but that's what you're going to get. Leave um, now. There's no getting around it. <laughs> I mean, there we go. I mean, just realistically. I didn't even have to say it this time. <laughs> um, I grew up on Adult Swim. We're good, okay? Like... Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I will reiterate, if, if you guys are semi-brand new to business, if you've never created content, uh, this might feel like a little bit of an advanced strategy we're going to be talking about today. Um, but it is something to kind of keep in the forefront of your mind. I know it's a, it's a part that a lot of people tend to a overlook or not even conceptualize, especially like in the affiliate space, because it's not one that's actually taught very often. Uh, but it's probably one of the, the main pieces that will make or break your business. Uh, and the reason we want to include it a, we know there's a lot of people in our audience that wanted this. We did did put out a few pieces of content around it a couple of weeks ago, uh, and the feedback we got was insane. So we figured we would run a training on this actual topic. Uh, but if you are completely brand new, it can seem kind of foreign, just a, a fair warning. Um, but we'll try to do our best to kind of dive into the overall process as a whole. Yeah. 
And we're going to try not to be long-winded as fuck like we normally are. So, yeah. giving, giving you guys actionable steps, you can actually go and start deploying this week if if you're that kind of motivated person. Let's see. So I see I still see folks piling in, so we'll give it a couple more minutes. See Tracy, I see you made it. Hell yeah. <clears throat> um, I was I doing some research. Um TikTok has taken their creator um shop down from the TikTok studio. You have to actually go through Google now to get to the affiliate program. And also, you have to um, be actively producing content for them to accept you. Yep. So I think they're trying to control that a little bit more. 100%. 100%. Yeah. yeah, they're always making changes and updating things. Yeah. It went from what, like 10,000 followers down to 1,000 or something being the prerequisite. Um. Think. Hey, don't play with that. Stop that. Sorry, my son is in the room, so he's messing with everything. <laughs> yeah, I get it. That too. No worries. Stop. Train him young. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will tell you guys, um, we're gonna try and go through the training. So if you got questions as we're going, you can either drop them in the chat and we'll get them on the we always do like a little QA towards the back end. Um, so just drop your questions in the chat or write them down. And once we get through with the training, it really shouldn't take us that long. Uh, so make sure you're taking notes. We will have a replay up, you know, cause a lot of folks could not attend that signed up. What's up, Jerry? Um, but yeah, our whole goal is just to share with you how we do things. And if you potentially want to do these things with us, you know, that will also be at the end, full transparency. Um, those of you that are new, if you don't know who the hell we are or what we've done, uh, Nate and I both come from a construction background. I used to be a plant supervisor in aluminum extrusion. Uh, Nate used to also work construction. So we're blue collar black uh, backgrounds. We've, we've done over a million dollars online. All right. We've helped a shit ton of other people create and sell various types of products and services, uh, physical products, digital products, coaching, consulting, you name it, we've probably helped them sell it. And we've got well over $3.4 million under our belts, just in case you were looking for a reason to listen to us. All right, so a lot of people that are here now can vouch for that because they're in some of our paid stuff as we speak. So we're not here to bullshit anyone. We're not here to sugarcoat shit. All right, we're just going to tell you guys exactly how it is, exactly how we've done stuff. And if you want to work with us a little closer after this, we've got plenty of options, but we do have something uh, specific that we're offering for the right folks. OK, so, yeah, we do sell shit online, so you will see an offer. But main goal up front is to give you guys actionable shit that you can go and apply uh, as soon as this week. OK, so that's the the transparency uh, deal for you guys, just to give you all a heads up so you know exactly what to expect, okay? No no obligation either way, right? Like, we're yeah. here to give you some good value, and if you get, go take take the strategies and jack them into your business, you know, that's, uh, that's what we're here to do, and yeah. All right. Who's all ready right. to get started? You want to start this party? Let's go. All right. Let's see. Go to the chat. Sweet. All right. So the biggest the biggest thing about making money or having a business or selling anything is you have to have something to sell. All right. So over the years, Nate and I have created a few dozen different offers. All right, using the simple English language that all of us here speak and used Google documents and PDFs and videos to sell those things. All right. We don't do sales calls. We don't teach people a bunch of fucking tech. We like to keep things super simple. I myself personally still suck at tech, even though I've been running an online business for <laughs> years at this time. Okay. 
but we're going to give you all the ingredients, all of the moving parts, and share with you guys on how you can build a $100,000 product. So again, Nate and I, we have made $100,000 more than 10 times, meaning it's been over a million dollars. We've both been at, been at home with my wife and kids, Nate with his kid, uh, for four plus years at this point. All right. So before we dive in, just know that even if you don't want to launch your own product, that is totally okay. Um, and you can still, in fact, use what we are going to share and teach with you guys today. We'd, uh, we'd highly encourage it, actually. Nate and I, we both did six figures in, in profit with affiliate products first before we ever decided to teach or create something of our own. All right. So this is what's going to make you stand out from all the other aff affiliates selling the same shit. People ask us all the time, like, how is there a thousand plus people selling the same off and you guys were still able to come out on top? And it's going to be because of what we're going to share today. Yep, you do got the doc. It is actually in the chat, Miss Terry. If you click that, you should see that. <clears throat> Nate will drop it again. Um, but here's how you're going to stand out from the crowd. Okay. This could be the very difference between kickstarting your momentum and actually getting results. So you can compound it and turn it into results over and over again with a repeatable process. This is exactly what we've done. We've showed probably over a thousand people at this point how to do it. That was my dog. Apologies. Um, but the first thing that we're going to cover is like the difference between cash up front and ascension. Okay. So I'll try and walk you guys through this part. Something to really think about. You can do this either way. It's no right or wrong way. It just really depends on what you want to optimize for. We do both. Okay. So Ascension, you can do this with a cheaper product and it'll give you like the ability to learn how to do it, but it will without a doubt help you kickstart your momentum and actually get shit moving. Uh -huh. right? It'll give you a, a pool of people that you can start selling more expensive things too. There's a lot of programs out there that do this and teach this, but I will I will say after I've made probably over a hundred different investments and investing over a hundred thousand dollars, there's a lot of stuff out there that does not do this ethically. All right. But here's a good example. You could do something special for 20 people on the back end of a ten dollar product and they have a really good experience with you. They have a good experience with the actual product, whether it's a physical or digital product, doesn't matter. Um, the chances of them more likely buying something more expensive, like a thousand dollar offer, they're going to continue to buy from you. But we want to first make sure they have a good experience with the first initial thing that they buy. So like right now, we've sold ten dollar products, we've sold fifty dollar products, hundred dollar products, fourteen thousand dollar products. All right, all the people that are buying the more expensive things from us, have bought something at a lower ticket price, had a really good experience. So they knew one, we knew what we were doing and knew what we were talking about. Two, they got results from it. Three, it made the more expensive purchase much, much easier. Like there's no resistance, okay? Um, that's, that's like the biggest part of the ascension. All right. You can't just go out and sell a thousand dollar thing to a complete stranger that's only seen you one time. Not going to happen. If if you do have that happen, then please come back and teach me and Nate how to do that. OK, it does happen from time to time, but it's not like a regular thing. All right. <clears throat> the the next one is cash up front. OK. If you you can do it with a high ticket product, but there's going to have to be. Uh, rapport and relationship prior to them doing that, meaning they'll have to see more content from you or have to know who you are a bit more, have the know, like, and trust factor, etc. But you don't need that many high ticket sales in order to replace your, your job's income or to make a full-time income. That's the beauty of high ticket. It's where me and Nate started selling on Facebook profiles in the DMs on Messenger. All right, we were selling $1,500 and $3,000 products every single month for a, for more than a year, okay? We've, we've been doing that with our own stuff now for a few years, all right? So cash up front is good because everybody likes new cash in their pocket. 
I don't know what kind of things you, you guys enjoy. Me, I'm a big gun guy. If if I could buy a gun every month, like as in my wife would be cool with that, I would definitely fucking do it. But I also like eating, so we like to eat good food. All right. So keep that in mind. Cash up front is good because everybody wants mo- more money. All right. We're, we're yeah. not going to beat around the bush on that at all. Everybody wants to make more money. If they don't, they're probably named Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. All right. They don't need any more money. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, once you once you build a, your own pool of buyers, the the cool thing is that like you get paid to create something. That's how we've always done stuff. We've never created something and then tried to sell it. We've sold it first, and then we created it with the people that bought it. It's the most fun and rewarding thing that you can ever do because you'll also get real-time feedback while you're doing it. All right, now, some of this might be foreign to you, but you'd be surprised at the types of things that people are willing to buy. All right, they people love to buy. You just have to be the person to get in front of them and show them the thing that they want to buy. This is the another beautiful thing about affiliate marketing. Okay. I can go into a shit ton of examples, which I'll, I'll give you one now as I just saw that question. Can I go into more detail? So I woke up this morning and I've got this pool that's on the other side of this computer. And I have uh, a couple pool parts posted on a simple website that a lot of people check every single day, all right? People get on there and buy stuff all day long, every day, all day, the entire year. My pool pump, all right, the particular one that I've got over there that is running the filtration system, it makes me money pretty much every single day, okay? It's a fairly cheap product, but it just sells over and over, all right? I get cash that comes in, and I don't have to do any other initial work because I've already done the video that's selling it and I've got it posted and I'm getting traffic to it. And now people are buying it. I earn a commission on every purchase after someone watches that video and buys it. Commissions in the bank. All right. Another quick example is let's say you learn how to do something that a lot of other people don't know how to do. I'll give you a, a, a health example. Let's say you figure out a way with your body type on how to lose 10 pounds in 30 days. And then you list it all out on a Google document. All right. All the steps that you took, all the food that you ate, all the exercises that you did. Or take it a step further. You can record simple videos explaining all of that to go with the text or where you're explaining the steps. All right. So you might have 10 videos, 10 meal prep plans and 10 workouts that allowed you to lose 10 pounds in 30 days. All right. That right there is something that people will spend money on. You could simply sell that Google document and accept payments through Venmo, uh, Zelle, Cash App, or PayPal, and send them the Google document. All right. That's that's another real-time example of how simple this shit can be if you're willing to create content around the thing that you learned and know how to do. All right. And I'll give you a, there's, there's the another two. perspective shift around this too would be when we talk about pre-selling or selling spots before you, you like put in energy or do all these different things is because this is a very common one in like the online realm. People will spend months building courses, building programs. You know, I'm going to go record all these videos and do all these different things where realistically the thing that needs to happen first is we need to build demand. We need to build attention. We need to build awareness. We need to see if we have people in our audience that want this, right? So as a real-time example, we just did this with this free training that we're running with you guys right now. Flip wrote a document, uh, a a little post uh, around, you know, a $52,000 offer in 14 days. I went and did a YouTube video. And then everybody in our audience was like, hey, I want this thing. I want this thing. This thing was awesome. So then we turned around And we're running this training right now, breaking down how to do it. So we knew that there was demand in the thing, right? So we can do this with actual uh, paid offers too. Like, and this is how we'll we'll actually have a section on this later on in in the actual doc. But the ultimate goal is to kind of look at it like maybe like a concert, right? People want this really cool thing. They pay for tickets in advance. Then they come hang out and they do this thing. That's how. That's exactly how we launch and create all of our offers. 
right? And, and the one of the main mechanisms for this is because we don't want to go spend eight weeks trying to build this thing when when after we built it and everybody's like, oh, we don't even want that. It's like, hey, if we can find an angle first and like, oh, people in our world want this, then we can go create it, right? Best case scenario versus burning all that time in the front on this thing that might work. Whereas like if we can test and, and play around on the front and see if it works first and then create it, then it's best case scenario. And then we can always spin it into like a, evergreen product and what we mean by that is something that you can sell over and over again right like we did this with our our, our group juice launch two point the initial launch and the 2.0 launch right we sold hundreds of spots into this thing and then we hosted a five-day live event and then we chopped it up and, and did this in real time or like lauren you were there with us on the actual uh five-day event in the free group same thing right we talked about it for weeks first, and then we created the training once the awareness and, and demand was there, right? Versus, hey, we ran this this training, and now we're trying to get people to it. It's like, hey, let's do it kind of backwards how most would think about doing it. Um, so what you need prior, uh, this is kind of like step one, realistically. What we need prior as far as like putting an offer to market selling anything, uh, some type of audience. Okay. This can be, this doesn't have to be, you don't have to be like, you know, the next Kim Kardashian or whatever. We're not saying you guys have to have a big, big audience. Um, but if you're not creating content or you haven't started creating content or you're maybe not kind of sharing your story out there, uh, it's going to be hard to sell anything online. And, and what, how most people approach online business in the very early stages is like, Come out of the the gut the gates just swing in, you know, buy my product. Whereas like the biggest thing that we really need to kind of do in the very early stages is sell people on yourself as a person, as a mom, as a dad, as a husband, a wife, like sharing your story and starting to build some type of audience. This could be a hundred people, this could be a thousand people. Uh obviously the type of content you're creating will will dictate how targeted that the audience actually is. But a good perspective shift is like we had a couple of coaching clients who, you know, a combined audience of 1500 members did 100K in four months, right? Like you don't need a massive following, right? Like even if you look at flipping myself's audiences, like they're smaller than a lot of people in our, our space. I got like 35,000 people on my Facebook profile, which might seem like a lot, but I can go look at other creators that have a million followers, right? Like, but we're still doing pretty well in our own business. And that's because the type of content. So this won't necessarily work that well if you don't have an audience, but it is a very powerful thing to start thinking about, even if you haven't started creating content yet. Okay. Um, goodwill built in your audience uh, slash content you've been creating. Meaning if all of your content is just like, hey, buy my thing, buy my thing. If you're creating content, you, you're kind of like looking like a billboard Every post is about, hey, I have this program that you should buy because it's the coolest thing ever. Uh, you kind of need to flip the perspective and, and start giving some actual value to your audience. A good, a good analogy that Flip made and has made over the years is like a lot of people try to run their business like the, withdrawing money from a bank that doesn't have anything in it. Right. You're going into the bank and you're asking them to pull out 10 grand and there's no, no money in your bank. And we have to look at your audience like that bank. You creating content, giving some form of value. And, and by value, I mean, you could be sharing your story. You could be sharing processes. You could be sharing anything is making a deposit into that bank account. And we can't actually make withdrawals without it, right? And, and we, we can't just expect random strangers on the internet to start paying us. Like that's not, it doesn't happen. If it does, it's like a, it's a unicorn. It's a very rare anomaly. Um, it's, it's not definitely not consistent. So just something, two, two things we need to think about if you want to roll into this, right? If you're coming off the back end of a promotion or you've been talking about a lot of products, might want to spend a little bit of time giving some things to your audience. Uh, and if you don't have an audience, then we need to start there. We need to start hitting some content and, and starting to actually build some attention and awareness around yourself. Uh, and I'll play devil's advocate is even if you don't know what you're selling, start creating. 
share your story, share who you are. Hey, I, I, I'm, I, I'm interested in this type of stuff. Like there's no rules to this game. And I think especially for very early beginners, it's very easy to think ourselves into not moving because we have to have all these boxes checked. Whereas we kind of just have to force the hand and put ourselves out there a little bit. Without a doubt. Now look, a lot of folks will say, you know, why does this work? All right, we I'm gonna keep telling you guys we've been doing this shit for years and it's it has not stopped working. There's no signs of it stopping either. All right. So why it works so well is like people people love new stuff and not many people are doing it. All right. Even now there's there's a lot of opportunities out there where you can make really good money if you're willing to put the work in because other people are lazy as fuck and they just aren't willing to do it. That's the, that's the reality behind it. All right. Most people are not willing to stop watching Netflix for 60 minutes a day so that they can learn a high income skill that can make them a thousand dollars in a day. All right. Just keep that in mind. Another thing is exclusivity, I'm not sharing it with many. Me and Nate, we still have a lot of stuff that's locked up behind huge paywalls that people pay us five grand for, up to fourteen thousand dollars for, so they can get access to it and us. All right, we we try and keep that uh, the the private clients. We keep them small so we can work with them for longer periods of time and be with them for every season of the business that they run into. All right, scarcity like raising price or having time limited spots, okay? Like we're we're creating a brand new offer, like we've already created it. And it's not gonna be for everyone. Meaning, even if we had a hundred people ready to buy it, we're not selling it to a hundred people. It's only gonna be for a small amount of people because we want the work that we do with them to be intimate, all right? Personalized from support, from coaching, implementation, et cetera. Time limited spots always sell because nothing sells like a deadline. All right. If you've been seeing something on, you know, Black Friday, you only got one day to buy it. Your ass is going to go and buy that shit on Black Friday because you only got one day to get that deal. Okay. So time, scarcity, and limited spots always sell. <clears throat> Write that down. Keep that in the back of your mind for anything that you decide to sell. Doesn't matter if it's dildos, dump trucks, or digital courses. It really doesn't. Personal touch, like customization, all about them, meeting people where they're at, helping them formulate a plan that is going to be directly unique to that individual. That's something that cannot be mimicked. All right. If I say, hey, Lauren, I'm going to help you work on a customizable plan so that you can do X, Y, Z result. It's going it's to it's gonna be just for you, not 100 other people. It's directly personalized to you your personality, what you want to sell, how you want to sell it, the types of content, helping you create the offer, et cetera. All right. Something else that a lot of people sleep on is like bonuses. Buy one, get one free. As an example, all of us have probably bought something where if we bought it at a certain time on a certain day, we got X, Y, Z for free. You can do the same thing with your own offers online, whether it's an affiliate product, your own product, physical products, tumblers, courses, you name it, you can add bonuses, which increases the perceived value. Now, you can even use this strategy to get paid to create your own unique bonus as well. All right. So like when I tell you the opportunity on how many different ways you can do this is literally endless. I mean it from the bottom of my country ass heart. All right. It's like you can if you're a creative person or even if you're not a creative person, you can come up with some really cool bonuses that will help you stand out. All right. What we really want to do is make it all about them, their outcome and their results. If you can just nail one of these with something that you're trying to sell, it is going to increase your conversions and help you with your own personal results. That I can assure you and pretty much promise that what I'm telling you is going to work based on those things, which is why it's listed as the things that works so well. All right. Uh, roll into the goal outcome. So this is like the ultimate goal for an offer launch. Uh, one, first and foremost, as we mentioned earlier, 
uh, getting paid to create an asset. And what we mean by asset is a thing, a training, a resource, or confidence, proof of concept. Like there's a lot of different ways that we can spin that cat, but spin that cat, great English, um, skin. <laughs> um, <laughs> raise of hands, who spins cats? Um, <laughs> um, uh, so the, the, a, good, a good example of this, and what I mean by this is like, so years ago, I ran a kind of like a case study group, right? Where it was, you buy product X from me, and then I ran uh, four weeks of training around setting up, monetizing, and growing a community. So that's what I mean by getting paid to create an asset. Then I turned around and had those four things done that were relevant that I could start giving to my audience over and over again. Um, secondly, prioritize you, building your own pool of buyers. This is something that a lot of people who have affiliate programs will not tell you. Okay, They're going to say, just sell my product, get them into my group. Don't, don't create your own shit. You're not qualified enough. We're here to tell you the opposite. Right. If you want long term security online, you need to prioritize your own ecosystem of students, buyers, community. OK, so this is a very powerful thing that most won't tell you, but we will 100 percent encourage you guys to do. Um, so, for example, if you have an affiliate product, I don't care what it is, and they purchase from you, you send them to your own ecosystem. Or maybe you they get extra support from you, maybe they get some takeaways from you. Maybe they get extra resources. Like this is prioritizing your brand over the product's brand. Okay. And, and this, this is, this is a very powerful uh, thing we need to think about. Uh, kickstart a wave of momentum by stacking your own monetary wins, testimonials, you build confidence, you build conviction uh, while creating more leverage for you to go out there and have more angles uh, to go talk about. Right. If, if you end up, selling a product and you end up working with three people and helping them, you know, lose 15 pounds as an example, you now have three different stories and testimonials that you can go share in your content around proof of concept, which then is that flywheel effect of you did this cool thing in business, which then makes making more business easier because you can just go talk about it. Right? Like I did this thing and now I can go talk about this thing. And then it's like this, this circle of business. Um, so that's the ultimate goal, right? Here's the here's the fun part. Like, how many of you here would just love to make an extra two to five grand a month? Drop a hell yeah in the comments. All right. Trying to trying to get you guys engaged because we love doing shit live, right? Hell yeah. I'm expecting to see quite a few hell yeahs in the comments. So look, taking an idea. And then turning it into income is probably one of the things in business that people complicate the most when it's actually the most simple part of it, at least from our experience for doing it ourselves and helping other people do it. If y'all remember, I mentioned uh, there was one particular story where one of our clients wanted to do this thing and we gave him a strategy, how to go out and get the attention, how to generate some leads and he was making money with that idea in less than 24 hours. And it went on to be something that generated him money for months and months and months. Okay. So think about what's something that you're doing in business, learning in business or something that, you know, when it comes to like, you know, a life hack, it could literally be anything. All right. This is how we can take a hobby or a passion and turn it into business. All right. So think about something that you're doing or you have knowledge around, um, something that would potentially help someone else. Uh, is there something that you're regularly doing that would solve a burning problem for someone else? Pretty sure you guys, if you thought about it, you'd come up with something. You might even already have an idea, and that's great. <clears throat> it does not matter how small or big this thing is, okay? The idea does not have to be the next million-dollar thing. All right, things that are normal to you, may not be normal to someone else who hasn't started or done that thing or just been in that space. Okay. So like to give you guys some, some of our own personal examples, how we write content, how you're writing content. All right. Content might be easy for you. And it's one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, I, I can tell you that from a lot of experience, how you set up your business, like the structure behind it. 
All right. How we set hours up is pretty simple. We learned years ago that people don't want fancy tech. Uh, fancy tech. They don't want to do funnels. They don't want to do ads. They don't want to do no complicated shit. They just want to do like the most important things. It's going to move the money needle in an ethical way. All right. We figured that out. How you're generating more conversations, more lead flow, how you're getting more sales opportunities, how you're doing your, your lead generation overall. Me and Nate, we, we generate hundreds and hundreds of leads every single month. And we don't, we don't work that hard in order to do it. Okay. <clears throat> and a, a prime example, a very transparent example is look at how you got here watching us live or catching the replay. You raised your hand at some point because something that we said either in a post or in a video that interested the shit out of you. All right. And now we're here delivering on that thing to interest you. Sales strategies. Our sales strategy is, I don't know, ever since we stopped doing sales calls, it's, it's made sales more fun. Like last night I had two payments come through one at 1155 and another one at 2 AM while I was drooling on my pillow. And it's because of how we do our sales process. All right. We don't beg people to buy. We don't twist people's arms. We don't do pushy ass sales tactics. We present information. That's it. All of our content does the heavy lifting. And then we've got Google documents that have our offers where people can pay us. Sometimes they decide to pay us at two o'clock in the morning, which I'm totally fine with waking up to money made before I even have my coffee. Pretty sure you guys would be too. Common questions that you see being asked around the thing that you're one, either selling or promoting, like you can put together little guides and playbooks that can be low ticket products. All right. Now, if doing this off the back end of an affiliate product, you want to, you want to keep it congruent with the product itself. You don't want to sell how to, how to lose weight and then have like the most greasy foods to go along with it. It just would not make sense. And you don't want to, you know, say how to sell with content, you know, in a personal brand. And then a bonus is I'm going to show you how to do this without building a personal brand. Like it's just not congruent. So keep it linear to the product itself. Like our group juice student, Jill, she's a fucking badass. Uh, she took her group from less than 200 members to 2000 people in 28 days. She now has her own stuff that she's selling. Um, and it's because of the audience that she built that basically helped her create all of the stuff. Now, in the process of that 28 days, she also made thousands of dollars, right? Because you don't need a huge audience in order to make good money, okay? Now, what she was doing was uh, putting her own spin on how she grew her group from 200 to 2,000 in 28 days off the back end of group juice, all right? So making the initial the initial product even better because of what she was providing extra as a bonus, all right? It becomes easier to sell. We've done group growth case study groups on the back end of SAA. That was one of the things we used to sell years ago. And it was $3,000. And we were making multiple high ticket sales with that that paid us a $1,500 commission on every sale, right? And I was averaging four to eight high ticket sales a month. I'll let you do the math on that. Okay. Snagging the first high ticket sale on the back end of, you know, SAI, that was a hundred dollar product, right? We were selling a hundred dollar product as a beginner's uh, crash course. And we were helping people, even though it was only a hundred bucks, the people that we helped that paid for the hundred dollar thing, they ended up buying the high ticket from us because they had such a good experience from us with the hundred dollar thing. So then it was easier for them to spend three grand work with us even closer and, and get a more expensive product, all right? <clears throat> really, you're, the things you're only limited to is your own imagination and your own creativity here, right? With with what you're going to provide on top of product X that no, no one else is going to do, okay? Nobody can't offer some of the things that me and Nate offer because the things that we offer, other folks don't have them, okay? So pick a few things that you could run like a, a live training on um, or have resources you could build if you don't want to do the live thing. Like we have a shit ton of lead magnets that have made us a lot of money, even though it was free information. It's because we show our students and our private clients how to create these things 
that have sales come off the back of free information. Okay. Next up is, is pre-selling it. Now this is kind of what we were riffing on earlier. Uh, but this is a, a big part. This is how we do all of our promos, right? This is how we've done all of our product launches. This is how we help all of our clients do their product launches. Even if they're, we, we like the live workshops, all right, which I know lives can be very intimidating for people. Uh, so if you if that's not your cup of tea, then then you don't have to do a live workshop. We've had people do this with pre-recorded videos, with with resources, etc. But we don't want to go spend a ton of time building this course, building out these things, if we don't even have demand for it. I've I've done this countless times myself, right? I, I went and cre- recorded thirty six module master classes, all these different things. And then I never worried, like figured out how to actually get people into them. And then I was off doing it again. And realistically, we want to pre-sell it. And what we actually mean by that is, like Lauren asked in the comments earlier, if we have this overall idea of something we want to do, say we have these three to five things that we want to cover in XYZ, we start hitting hitting the the public World Wide Web with, with pieces of content around that. Hey, I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about maybe hosting a training on this and like building demand for it. Get a comment. Yeah. I, I, oh, I'd, I'd be interested in like hanging out and learning more of that. And then, you know, then we can turn around and once we have the demand, then we can turn around and create the thing. Now you can do this with free and paid stuff. Good real time of doing that with a free thing. We just did it with this exact training with you guys. Right. If if we would have put out pieces of content and nobody raised their hand on like, hey, who wants to learn how to launch a six figure offer or the four ingredient, the main ingredients to having a, a six figure product of your own, if there was no comments, we wouldn't have done this training. So there's no time loss for us, right? Like, hey, if there's no demand, nobody in our, our world that wants to learn how to do this, and we we didn't already commit to spending an hour, two hours to tr- creating this training because nobody in our audi- audience wanted it. But that wasn't the case. But that's a good real-time example of that. Um, this allows us to get paid to create something if we are doing it with a paid product. Meaning, like we had like Jamie, one of our coaching clients who like launched her, uh, she's launched a few master classes at this point, but she does like voice acting, right? She does voice acting as like a gig. She does this for like freelancing and stuff like that. Uh, and she's like, hey, I want to launch a course on, you know, how to start a voice acting business, how to you know, do narration and, and and get your Fiverr set up and your Upwork set up and how to actually start monetizing, you know, voice acting. So she, we helped her conceptualize the offer, things to cover in this offer. And then she hit her content for, you know, three weeks selling spots and then posted a training inside of a group and then turned it into a program that she can sell over and over and over again. All right. So that's a, a good representation of, how we're pre-selling things and then turning them into things that live and, and bring us continuous sales on uh, online. Yeah. Um, and and that's going to bring you to the timeline. We see too many people trying to make money too quickly without having a lot of the stuff we're covering today in place. We get it. Everybody wants to fucking make money. We all do. But you have to have these things in place and you must give yourself a long enough runway in order to attract the right people, pre-sell them on the idea itself. OK, if you don't, you're you're not going to have conversions and you're not going to make money and you're going to get confused. You're going to be overwhelmed and pissed off and frustrated and quit. The reason I know that is because we've seen a lot of fucking people do this. All right. Give yourself more time to run a promotion, to gain interest for the idea, to do market research, to make sure that there's a need for what it is that you want to do. Me and Nate do this every single time, like he just mentioned. If we hadn't got any comments, like we got hundreds and hundreds of comments around creating an offer, all right? If we hadn't got that interest, we wouldn't be here today, but we got the interest. So then we knew we needed to spend some time put together some actual valuable information to help folks so they can go out and do this shit for themselves. All right. This is the the biggest thing that's throwing people off. They'll have an idea for an offer, post about it three times. Don't sell any spots or get any interest. 
and and they'd end up scratching the whole entire idea. And they did not give the audience enough time to become acclimated to the idea. All right. A real time example is we had two coaching clients that wanted to put something to market. We we knew that there would be interest for it. The first seven days, they got crickets. Nobody was interested. All right. They were selling it for a thousand bucks. They were getting discouraged. They were ready to scratch the idea. Nate and I explained exactly what I just said to y'all. Like, hey, the audience hasn't seen the right thing yet. They're just now getting warmed up to the idea. Let's keep posting. All right. It wasn't but like two days later, they ended up making like four grand in a day because <clears throat> they hit the right thing with their audience. Everybody was finally up to speed with what they were doing. All right. And then they they turned that into a hundred thousand dollars in four months. Had they had quit in that initial seven days, they would not have built a multi six figure product. All right. So you need to give your audience more time to acclimate to what you're doing and give yourself room to actually start selling spots, hitting all the different angles inside of your content. Okay. We don't, it doesn't matter what the hell you're selling. This, this is literally relevant for anything. All right. I've even helped people sell candles doing this all the way up to, you know, ten thousand dollar coaching offers so like it, it works for all of the shit you want an easier time selling more products we need to do our best to create more awareness around it in as many different lenses as we can right so if you have four or five topics in something like talking about those four or five things in as many different ways as you potentially could via content and see what sticks best with your audience and then double down on it Right. Most people will like th this is literally the the killer for a lot of people. Right. Hey, I wanted to do this thing and I posted about it. I didn't get a hundred comments. I'm gonna scratch it. I'll tell you what, I posted a piece of content yesterday about this training, about zero comments. I deleted it and posted a different one because it didn't hit with the audience. It didn't get attention, didn't get awareness. It wasn't about them. Right. That's another thing to think about, especially in this online space. We need to convey what your thing, a thing, anything is going to do for the, the, the consumer. Because that's the only reason they're going to move. The only reason they're going to have a conversation with you, they're going to do anything with you in business, life, whatever, is if there's something in it for them. Realistically. Yeah. Right. Hey, I, I want somebody to join my community. Why should they join your community? You let them know why. Otherwise, they won't actually make a decision. It's a big one with offers yes. too. So um, plugging together the offer, we're big on Google Docs. Uh, thanks to our mentor, Jacob. I've uh, been working with that that uh, long haired dude for many moons at this point. Um, we like simple, we, we, we like the tone of the Google Doc process. So what that actually looks like is we showcase what we're selling. We showcase our offer results, et cetera, on Google Docs. Uh, in comparison to like a lot of very techie processes. Uh, so the overall flow of that is, you know, create content, start a conversation, send them a, a Google Doc. Some of you guys probably landed on a Google Doc here. You were probably sent a Google document to come register for this training. So that's a good real-time representation of what we're talking about. Like we, we literally use this day in and day out. Um, it's a little crazy when you think about it. We have literally processed over a million dollars in our own business. That's not including any client results uh, with Google Docs um, being a, a huge piece to that. It's it shrinks the sales process. We can start including objections, questions, et cetera, inside of these Google Docs. Uh, and it's it's literally probably the reason we have been able to process thousands of payments without sales calls or free strategy sessions, which is almost the industry standard. Right. It's literally what everybody's out there preaching. Run ads to a simple funnel, get them on the phone and convert them into a, you know, expensive product. And we don't we don't do calls. Right? If if you haven't consumed enough content from us or, you know, aren't at that point yet, we're, we're not going to get onto a Zoom session and try to pressurize you into buying our stuff. Um, it's not why we started our business. Right. Um, so. This is, our, this is kind of our predictable profits process um, that, that our clients, that us and our clients have used to 
you know, do crazy shit. And, and I, like, that sounds very cliche, but like we've had $12,000 days. We've had students radically change their lives because of this, this offer launch framework. Um, you know, more, made more money. Our students have made more money than I could even conceptualize making in my entire life. Right. I, I come from blue collar minimum wage job, right? Like wasn't going anywhere realistically in life. And I'm, I'm just a regular dude. Like I drive a 2007 Prius, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not a Prius, but it sounds better. <laughs> Close enough. <clears throat> so check this out. <clears throat> Your setup and structure does not have to be complicated doesn't have to be one of those things that gives you a headache to where you want to put your hand through your computer or throw your phone across the yard. Okay, I, I, I promise. Been there. That was probably one of the worst things for me was trying to figure out tech. I say I suck at tech. I can do like, you know, bare bones minimum, you know, simple stuff that I need. But like how we set up and structure things, like we really try to keep them simple as fuck. All right. We, <clears throat> whenever we want to run something, uh, an easy way for you guys to do this, regardless of what your idea is, is to create a separate group where you're going to deliver the thing, whether it's recipes, whether it's workout plans, whether it's how to make candles, how to do crocheting, um, how to create content, how to sell affiliate stuff, how to build a business, whatever it is. All right. Create a separate group. And once your people buy then that's where you want to put your buyers in this separate group. That way they can get your bonuses, the, the deliverables, any extra trainings that you're running. All right. On top of what you already promised that they paid for, plug them into a Google drive, all of the trainings, <clears throat> plug the people into a Google drive. You can give them a folder. I can't tell you how many times at this point, how many times me and Nate have, Created a simple offer, taken assets that we had already created on other Google documents and put them inside of a Google Drive and sold them. We've accepted PayPal payments, Stripe payments, uh, Venmo payments, all by selling a Google Drive folder that had information inside. <clears throat> you don't need something hyper fancy. This literally hangs up a lot of people, especially in the beginning. All right, so having like a separate private buyers group also gives you the ability to start building your own proof of concept, getting your own results, building closer relationships with these people, your own pool of buyers, all right, versus just pumping members into a product creators uh, group or membership program where they own the lead and anything else that they buy, they're going to go to them. We actually tell all of our people, build your own groups, build your own email list, build your own shit. The reason we say that is because we want everybody to win. All right. We're not, we're not gurus or no shit like that. We've just literally invested over a hundred thousand dollars in other courses and mentorships. And we know what we didn't vibe with stuff that was left out when, when we started creating our own shit, we wanted to create stuff in a way, you know, for the normal person, the working class, someone that wants to build an extra income, someone that wants to build a business that takes them out of their job puts them at home, more time with the wife, the husband, the kids, et cetera. So that's why we built shit the way that we built it. Keep it simple, all right? <clears throat> Relationships are the goal here. You don't, want, you, don't want, you don't want to sell people something and then ghost them. We've had that happen to us too, all right? There's nobody in any single product or program that we have created and sold that can say we don't show up every single week and we have for the last two plus years because we stand by everything that we sell. We provide the support that we say we are. We show up and help our people. All right. If you bought something from us, you can never say that we don't show up to answer questions and support the folks. A lot of people here can vouch for that. Next up, free training kickoff. Now, I know this can sound uh, kind of scary, but this is this is how we kick off all of our promos. Uh, we use them as anchor posts. Little secret, not so secret. We're doing this in real time right now to kick off a promo because we're planning on selling an offer and we're running a free training right now. Um, now, the reason we do this uh, on a little bit of a deeper level is because we want to maintain good le high levels of goodwill with your audience. 
it's a lot easier to ask to your audience to give away something for free. And then we can casually inject invitations for them to come hang out with you in a paid opportunity at the end. And then we can kind of create loops in our content where we'll just kind of refeed that free thing that we just did. Right. So let, let's say, for example, you have a weight loss thing or a, or a coaching program around, you know, weight loss and you go run a free training or you give away free resources around, you know, the five best meal plans for busy moms. Right. And you, you break down these five meal plans, maybe some of the ingredients and all this stuff. And then you say, hey, I'm actually opening up a little 90 day case study group where I want to help, you know, women lose 20 pounds by summer. Right. And then you start trickling sales off the back end of that. And these these people start reaching out like, hey, how do I get access to this 90 days? And then we turn around and we create content and reseed people back to that free thing we just did. Right. So this is this is literally how we like to do all of our our posts. And, and the 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 main reason for this is because we don't want to just put massive demand on our audience. Like, hey, I have this product, come buy my product, buy my product, buy my product, because we can only do that for so long until your audience is like, this is fucking annoying. I don't even want to consume your content anymore. Like, like, you know. Um, so throughout a promotion, we usually do the first half is is this. Right. The first half of what we're talking about is this free training. Come hang out with us. Come get to know us. Come decide whether you like us or we're douchebags, whatever. Uh, and then if you want, come come potentially talk with us about a paid opportunity or don't. It's all good either way. You can come get the free training and then leave it there if you want or or not. Right. Like we like to do this because we're, we're not constantly coming into our content from like, Hey, I, I, you need to buy this product. Hey, come buy my program, buy my, this, buy this, because people, people, people don't want to see that every single day. Like you're not a billboard for a program, a product and offer affiliate program, like give them some good stuff. Okay. Um, the ultimate goal is to actually give some, some valuable information because if somebody can go out and take a free thing you give them and get some type of result, it actually makes it easier to sell them something in the future anyways. Like if any of you guys go and take this free training and have an aha moment and and maybe go do something in business and it w works for you, you're going to be more inclined to come back and be like, hey, I took that strategy and did this and like I'm ready to take the next step with you guys. Versus like just giving them just enough to actually need your product. Some people do that, but... Uh, we're kind of big on on the over delivery mechanism. So, yeah, we are. Another really important thing is like your content. All right, the content rotation. This is this is where you're going to be testing. Everything's not going to perform the way that you want it to. I'll go ahead and tell you that early. This is why it's important to test as as many different angles as you possibly can. Rotating between different styles and pain points inside of your content throughout the duration of the launch or the promotion. If your thing solves five different things and the affiliate product you're promoting covers another five, you now have 10 different angles that you can produce content around. All right. You want to let your offer fuel your content. Let your life, let your business fuel your content. That's going to make your content 10 times easier and easier for you to show up. All right. Now you want to cycle through all of these different angles and elements, you know, everything that's a part of the solution. All right. All of the, all of the different scenarios that can play out. You want to cover all of those because there's a 100% chance that there's people in your audience that are going to identify with, with one, not all. All right. So you might have 10 people that identify with thing one, all the way up to, you know, the 10th element or the 10th topic, you'll have another 10 people in your audience that are going to identify with that and relate to it. And that's going to be the buying triggers. All right. These buying triggers are super important. And the reason we do this is we want to make sure that we're covering all the bases so that folks know who this is for and who it is not for. Okay. So don't make every single piece of content about one thing because you're going to shoot yourself in the foot if you do that you saying something in a different way or a different angle or sharing a different perspective will resonate with more of the people in your audience, AKA give you the ability to close more sales and gain more interest. All right. Micro momentum. So if people start jumping in, if they, people consume the free training you ran, 
someone has a takeaway from the training, uh, this needs to get front loaded to the content, right? We kind of need to create like this, this circle of content, right? Like we do this, this cool thing over here and then we create content about it. And then it just continuously like refeeds itself. Right. Like I'm going to go end up creating content about this live training today. If anybody has takeaways, feedback, questions, questions answered, I'm going to go turn around and create content around what was actually covered on this training and resend people back to it. Right. It's, it's going to become this cycle of doing something and then going and talking about it. Hey, I, I have this affiliate program. So-and-so just made a sale today. Right, I'm going to go talk about that in my content and it all just kind of feeds into itself. Uh, now, the problem that most people run into this because they don't do or apply stuff in the business and then they don't have anything to talk about. I don't know what to say. Right, do something, anything. Hey, this is how I wrote my first post. Hey, I ran this free training that you know showed you how to generate five leads and you know that's what I covered. And then we just kind of refuel our own business. Um, best case scenario, you potentially land a sale, you land a win, you generate a client off of the free training we talked about up here. Um, and then it, it, it breeds FOMO and, and more attention and awareness around uh, the actual offer itself, right? Like, so for example, we run a training and we make an offer on the back, somebody goes and buys it. And then we turn around and be like, hey, we ran a free training that turned into XYZ in sales. Who wants to know how we just did that? So that's a good real-time example of me doing something in business and turning around and creating it into something that will create more attention and awareness, which then in turn creates more opportunity to actually make sales. Right. 100%. Hammering the limited availability. All right. Remember earlier I was kind of talking about, uh, you know, nothing sells like a deadline. This is true. We don't do deadlines to create false scarcity. We do deadlines because when we close down something, that shit is closed. Once we hit the number of spots, that's it. No more people are coming in because we don't want to sell to a hundred people. We want to work with a small group of people that we can help get the fucking results, get the outcome that they want, because that's going to fuel everything. One, you're going to have a happy customer and a happy client who's potentially going to do business with you over and over again. Like a lot of our coaching clients, they've been paying us monthly retainers for more than two years. Why? Because we help them get results. All right. They like to stay in our worlds and be able to pick our brains and have us help them implement and roll out cool shit. All right. Nothing, nothing sells like a deadline, honestly. Let people know like, hey, what you're selling, the offer you got, the bonus is there, like they're going away, you know, X time or after X people. Now, in the beginning, you can go vague if you're just starting. <clears throat> you don't have to, you know, put this up in, in the front or the forefront of when you're first launching the thing, all right? But let them know there's going to be a limited amount of spots, all right? If you don't want headaches, you're going to want to limit spots for whatever it is you're offering, okay? More people, more problems. Ask me how I know. Now, anytime you, you close something or stop a promotion, you want to tell your audience, hey, this shit's closed. You can no longer buy it because that's going to help with future promotions and let people know that you're serious when you say, hey, this is ending X amount of spots. Once they're gone, this is it. All right. We've, we've done this for a long time as well. It's a big one. Make, don't uh, definitely don't go like hard, fast on dates right out of the gate. Right. Don't don't say, hey, this thing's only available for the next 72 hours because it might take you 72 hours to find it. Right. We can we can always stretch the deadline a little bit out further, but don't come out of like the, the first post being, uh, hey, this is gone in, in two hours. If you don't already have a very responsive audience. Right. This is this. I've seen this hang a lot of people up. Right. They'll, they'll want to run a promotion. And then by the time their audience is like getting attention and awareness right now, they already said this thing closed down before the people, the people in their audience are like, Hey, where do I find this? Oh, it's already gone. We don't, we don't want to be in that situation in business. Uh, if it's your first ever promotion, the one thing that we tell most people is 21 day minimum, three weeks minimum of a start to finish. 
And, and that's like from when you find the angle is the 21 days starts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but it, it's not, it's not, especially if you don't, you've never done one before. That's like 21 days of your posting multiple pieces of content, like yep. as many places as you can. Promos are uh, stressful, exhausting, but fun at the same time. Yeah. And just to, just to lay the rest of this out. All right. Quick, a quick recap of this. Decide on what you're going to be covering, whether it's three, four, six topics that you're confident in that's going to enhance the offer that you're promoting and selling. This could be on the back of an affiliate product. This could be you launching your own shit. It doesn't really matter. All right. But as long as it's going to enhance the thing that you're selling, perfectly fine. Um, we, we would encourage folks to, to do this on the back of an affiliate product if they don't have their own personal results, because a huge misconception that people have is I don't have monetary results. I don't have a huge audience blah, blah, blah. That's literally just a limiting belief because I started with zero results, zero money made. And I was able to come in the game and do better than people that had been playing the game for longer than I had. And it's because of the stuff that we're covering today. So like there, there's the reality is you can come in and kick ass. Even if you're a beginner, if you're willing to follow the steps, that's, that's the truth. So decide on what you're going to be covering. All right, craft the offer doc, and it, it works even better if you have someone to help you do this. You can do it yourself. We've we've ran plenty of free trainings where folks have went and you know did it based off what we taught. Uh, I actually got a screenshot that I'll probably share where someone's already made a high ticket sale off of one of our free trainings just because of what we taught. It's pretty cool. So craft your offer going you focused, like your thing is the focus. Affiliate product is the bonus, and then getting clear on what you're going to be helping them achieve run a training talking about these four to six topics and exactly how it's going to help those who partake those who come and hang out use your content to feed the training get more eyeballs get more awareness and more attention around it to fuel conversations use the conversations to get eyeballs on the offer doc that you created the thing that you're selling all right close sales and then run all the trainings inside your, your private buyers group <clears throat> or put them inside of there. And you can do this as many times as you want. After you've got the trainings created and put up in the group, guess what you just did? You just created your own personal asset that you can sell as a standalone or as your own first product. Like that you own it. You can sell it as many times as you want for low ticket or high ticket. All right, that choice is also going to be yours <clears throat> because then what you'll be able to do is say, hey, I just did this cool thing. I just got paid to do it and you can just sell it every month. All right. Add it to any relevant affiliate product in the future. All right. This is what's going to give you a complete and competitive advantage over everybody else who might be selling the same thing. Like it's literally thousands and thousands of affiliates that are attempting to sell the same thing right now. A lot of them are doing copy and paste shit. That shit don't work. You have to have a unique angle that's going to be unique to you. Hence the building of a personal brand. All right. <clears throat> now, if you do us, do us a quick favor, we're going to briefly chat about what we've got for y'all. Um, if you've gotten some value or aha moments from this, you can do one of two things. <clears throat> Drop it in the chat. If this has your, your brain going, um, if you've had aha moments, if it's changed the way you looked at things, if you learned something completely new, put them in the chat or join our, our free group over on uh, school, the community collective, and go drop it in there. But we want to make sure that everything that we talked about today made sense. So after I after I mention uh, the actual offer, because we know that there's going to be people that want to have our help because we're, we're going to do a, a thing that we've never done. It's a brand new offer. Okay. So I hit Nate with a crazy idea because of all the interest uh, based on the, the offer post that we were 
sharing and posting about on Facebook, um, we had hundreds and hundreds of people that were interested in seeing what an offer looked like that done 50, 50 some thousand dollars in, in 15 days. All right. That's just one of many things that we've done. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to roll out an eight week cash flow class. And it's exactly what's in the name. We are going to work with a few folks very closely to ensure that they are able to build cash flow. All right. Cash flow is something that a lot of folks want, but cash flow is also something that a lot of folks don't know how to create. All right. So I'm going to briefly run through this and give you guys, you know, just the, the quick recap. If you're interested, you can message me and Nate personally, and we're, we're going to have to qualify you. Like you can't just buy this, even if you got the money. All right. We want to make sure it's for the right people, but we want to take folks through this process in higher detail with hands-on meaning you'll have me and Nate in your back pocket to help you deploy all of this and like we want nothing more than for you to make a minimum of three to five grand we've helped people do more all right depending on where you're at in the stage that you're in but we want to help you create the offer we want to help you make the content creation easy if you don't have something to sell, no need to worry there either. We've got uh, multiple offers that are already converting and people are already buying. All right. If you like anything that we said, our vibe, our style, who we are as people, even if this is your first time, that's not to say that you can't go out and do this. All right. But we don't want any lazy fuckers. All right. We don't want people fighting us on what we're going to help and teach them how to do. We, we don't want that. All right. The relationships that we've built, the friendships that have been formed, like here's a, a picture of us where we bought a, a beach house for a week. Our private clients did not pay a dime and we just went and hung out with them for a week. It was like the most fun. And yes, I was the biggest person there. I'm not even a big guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but we've, we've got these relationships with these folks and that's what we we're big on. All right. We don't want to sell you something if we wouldn't go out and, you know, have, have dinner with you or grab a beer or, or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> now inside the core accelerator, which is not what we're selling. We just want to let you know it's, it's five grand to almost $10,000 for the year. All right. So we understand that folks have to be in a certain place in order to make that investment. You'd have to have been in our world for a long time. And that's exactly why we're creating the eight week cash flow class. This is purely being created to help you snag some quick wins as fast as possible and help you personally refine a process to add an extra three to five K in sales every month. All right. So just on the low end, if you were able to take this class to get to a point, you were making three grand a month. All right. 12 times three, that's an additional $36,000 a year. And yes, you'll have to pay taxes on. It. That's not the point. All right. Once you've got this process, like you can you can repeat this shit just like we've been repeating it for the last few years. All right. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's keep it simple. If you are a person that's not made 10K per month yet, there are really only two things we need to focus on. That's your profit PDF, your offer doc that you can leverage to sell your products in the DMs and the right type of attention, AKA building an audience through content creation. And this is what we want to fucking help you do from start to finish. All right. That's literally what we want to help you do. So private mentorship from me and Nate weeks one through four, I'll, I'll give it to you quick. We're going to meet us three. So it'll be basically a two on one. Um, get your offer idea dialed in and a rough draft written based on the problem that you are solving or want to solve and laser in on who has the problem and who's ready to pay you to solve it right now. All right. And we're going to create a custom content plan with all the angles you need to generate your first three of 100 to 300 leads. All right. It's not unusual for us to help folks do this. We, we do it all the time. All right. Now these are going to be leads that actually be willing to pay you. Okay, just based off the content we're going to help you create. 
and then we'll plan a cash mullet kickoff to jumpstart the pre-selling process. All right. These leads are going to be the ones that's like, hey, I want to buy your shit. And you'll get to pick and choose, cherry pick, if you will. If you get a good vibe, you can sell them. If you don't, you don't have to. That's another thing that's really powerful in this game is having the ability to tell people no. I'm sorry, you have 10 grand to give me. I don't want it. All right. You get to pick and choose who you who you want to work with. All right. Now we'll we'll meet up once more to make sure that you're plugged into our Zoomless sales codex. This is how Nate and I have not gotten on a call to sell any of our stuff, whether it was 50 bucks or 14 grand. We just do not get on calls to try and twist people's arms to buy shit. And this is a skill that we've helped a lot of people deploy themselves. That way you can watch your phone light up with Stripe and PayPal notifications with $500 to $1,000 sales. It's something that I can't really explain, but I'll attempt to. Like on Memorial Day, me and the wife and kids were out here enjoying the pool. $500 payment comes through. Doing nothing because of work I'd already did. It's pretty cool. Okay. Now, weeks four through eight, this is what's going to include four more additional private group sessions, uh, but with an emphasis on implementation, refining, and optimizing. This is going to typically be after you've already made money, um, but this is the process we've been using every day for a few years now, and it's made millions of dollars in product sales the last two years, all right? Me and Nate were nobody special. I kid you not, but the results that we've gotten and helped other people get, they're pretty special results. So we haven't done anything quite like this, and it's the perfect place to start. If if you're not afraid to be coached and pushed outside of your comfort zone so you can get some abnormal results, all right? We're not promising you you're going to make a million dollars or you're going to get a fucking Lamborghini in 30 days. What we will promise you is that we're going to do everything in our power to give you the information, coaching, and support that you need so that you can go out and start creating cash flow ethically all right <clears throat> that's literally what our goal is if we can do this anybody can do this and that's that's really how we feel about it so if you want to see what this looks like in further detail or you know that you want to do it all you'll need to do is message me and nate me or nate and we'll have a quick chat ask you a, a couple questions and we'll get you one of these spots um if if you want but again no high pressure. It's only going to be for a few people. We're not sure how long we're going to offer it. Um, probably once we, we get the spots closed so we can work with those folks personally. But that's what we're that's what we're doing. It's a brand new thing. We're fucking excited about it. Um, and we can't wait to see what kind of results come out the back end of it. So now we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll open up a little bit of a Q&A. But if you are interested in that, you guys that are here live have an advantage over the folks that have not watched the replay. Um, we had almost 100 people register for this, and I can I can promise you it's going to be nowhere close to that amount of spots that are going to be available. All right. So if you want to talk to us about it, see if it's for you, just message me and Nate the words eight week, and we'll know that you want to chat about that, and we'll see you. See what we can do. Q&A is now live. So if you got any questions about anything that we covered today, uh, the floor is yours. And as long as we got questions, we'll, we'll hang out with you guys. <clears throat> Can't get my video to work, but I have questions. I don't know <laughs> what my Zoom is doing. Um, gotcha. So I'm not, I'm not being shy. Um, okay. My question. So you said something about lead magnets. Mm -hmm. What can you say more about that? Like in terms of what do you mean? Um, like what lead magnets? Like you, you said, um, and I didn't write down the context, but you said you had lead magnets that you used. Mm -hmm. What are they? What, what, give me some examples. All right. An example could be, we have a, we have a shit ton of loom videos where we're covering a, a specific strategy that helped us get a specific result. And we just send that to people, <clears throat> right? So it's basically just 
something that's going to help somebody else get a quick win based on what we've done. We've also got Google documents. Like I've got a Google document now that I could pull out. If anybody wants to see it, you'd still have to message me for it where it was how I made three grand, right? Without talking to anyone. There's another one where I created a 60 second TikTok video that made me $4,000 in commissions without talking to anyone. Right. So all of these are just things to help showcase. We actually know what the fuck we're talking about and what we're doing. Um, and it helps them get a quick win. Anyone that can go out and get a quick win based off of something for free that you provide to them is going to be more inclined to one, listen to you further two buy stuff from you. And, and okay. a cool thing to think about is like everything that we end up doing in, in like business can become a lead magnet. So this training is a lead magnet. Every YouTube video I create could be turned into a lead magnet. Um, like the way that we look at them, especially if you run like our process or our model where it's like growing your group, everything that you end up putting in your group could be positioned as a training or a thing to help somebody get an outcome. Like, for example, you go write a post in your group that's like, hey, this is how I generated my first 10 leads online. And then we can go turn around and be like, hey, I just wrote a framework on how you can generate your first leads online. It's like anything cool. could realistically become a lead magnet. Um, and a lead magnet is, is I mean, it's just that it's something that attracts a lead to you, right? Correct. Generates interest and delivers some type of value or goodwill, basically. Interest and value. Okay, got it. Um so you were talking about knowing what sticks and you talked about how you posted something and it didn't get any comments. So you took it down. So criteria for knowing what sticks is that just basically are people engaging? Is that uh, the criteria? It's, it's kind of a tricky one. So you can't necessarily, I wouldn't purely, and this goes for everybody. I wouldn't, I wouldn't base how well things are going off of engagement by itself because you have to look deeper than engagement like, for example, I could go write an offer post that gets zero comments on it, but people are sending me messages like, hey, can you like screenshotting the post and sending me messages about it? Um, so I wouldn't necessarily make decisions off of peer engagement. But like, for example, the case yesterday, I wanted to get as many people to come hang out with us on this free training as I could. So I needed more lead flow, more attention, more awareness, more comments, more interaction. So that way I could send the training. So... I was changing the posts based on the interaction I was getting from the audience. And then if I was getting a, like the first post I put out, I didn't get any interaction probably within like the first 45 minutes. So then I did a different one, which then started getting more and more, more, more and more comments. So then I leaned into that versus uh, the old post. Right. But it's a tricky one not to get hung up on vanity metrics, right? Like kind of look deeper in the business as a whole? Like, are you generating conversations? Are people coming into your group? Uh, are you actually getting the opportunity to talk to people? Then then we kind of know that there's a problem with the content, but purely going off of engagement can be a, a tricky one as a whole. It will kind of change on the, the goal. A good thing to, a okay. good way to look at it is like, if we want, say we want more lead flow, we want more combos, we want uh, more attention then usually going some type of shorter in the actual content itself will usually facilitate some more volume versus we also have the ability to go the other side of that spectrum. Like if I want to throttle the number of conversations, if I want to throttle the number of leads that talk to me, but I want them closer to the point of being ready to buy, then I would use lo longer content. Right. So there's, there's two main uh, prongs to it. I think, yep. Yeah. Are you still here? You might've got disconnected, but. It's a good, good lesson as a whole anyways. Any, any other, there's no dumb questions either guys. All right. So like ask anything that you want us to answer. Like I, I guarantee you we've got the experience, the results behind it to where we can provide some, some really good insight. So there's no dumb questions here at all. I see a couple of you have already sent me messages. So once this is over, um, definitely chat to you guys.
Made it back. Can you hear me? Yeah, my, yeah. I don't know with my computer. <laughs> so I, I probably missed some golden words of yours, Nate. Um, okay, last question. Um, what if, well, two, two prong question. What if I don't know exactly what my niche is? And what if my niche is overlapping? Can I've always heard that you shouldn't, you should be very focused on your niche, right? It's either health, wealth, or relationships, and you shouldn't overlap them. I think, I, I, so the, o the only place that I think this applies is if you're trying to build an authority blog or you're trying to build a, a authority like a YouTube channel on a very specific topic. But the perspective shift that I will try to encourage everybody in here to have, because I think this is a very big piece that a lot of people get hung up on, is you are the niche. Mm. And that's it. The fact that you have dogs, you're a puppy parent, you know, you're married, you have a husband, you want to buy a house in Bend, why you want to move to Bend, uh, the job you work, all of that shit's relevant because at the end of the day, the only thing we're selling people on is us. Yeah. Right? Like, I, I agree. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Chantel, most, most of y'all know, the only reason she finally bought from me, she spent a thousand dollars because I have pit bulls. So I'll, hmm. I'll ask, I'll ask any of you guys here. Do you think there are other people that are interested in the same things that you are? Sure. All right. So how, out of curiosity, how many of you here would like to spend your days at home or on your back deck or just doing more fun shit instead of getting micromanaged at a job? Pretty much everybody, if I had to guess. Like, there's something you would much rather be doing instead of clocking in every day. I, I know this because I did that shit, right? Like, I know my man, Eddie, he wants nothing more than to have his wife at home. And they're out there busting their ass and creating content. And they've, they've made sales. So they're, they're well on their way because of it. But you don't have to niche down. That's just something that somebody's going to tell you in order to probably sell their thing. If you, if you niche down, you are going to limit yourself. This is why we say a personal brand is like the best thing that you can build because a personal brand, I get to showcase everything that I stand for, which is being a present dad, a trophy husband. You know what I'm saying? My wife will agree with that. Just saying I like to fucking <laughs> hunt. All right. I like to fish. I like to do outside shit. I like to float the river. And I, I, I talk about that and share all of it in my content, right? Because that's me. And if you limit yourself to, I'm only going to talk about online business, there's a hundred percent chance you will be a boring ass person that will not have people buy from you because you don't, they don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? So, so you don't have to niche down. What is, what is my, so my Facebook group, is that, is that just me? It's not a specific focus? Well, to an extent. Like in my Facebook group, when I first started it, I was talking about affiliate marketing, Amazon, and then me, but it was mainly me, right? It's like, hey, I'm a guy that works 60 to 90 hours a week at an aluminum extrusion plant. Here's what I'm doing on the side to get me out of this job. All right. I was talking about all my shit. Like I prioritize family time. Ask Nate. He really can't get a hold of me, you know, after five or 6 p.m. because it's family time, you know, when the girls get out of school. But it's like how you do shit, how you show up, the types of content you create. Like this might piss some people off here. And you know, I'm not meant to do that, but I'll just give you an example. I fucking hate Joe Biden. That's a stance that I have because that some bitch ain't had a complete sentence since he's been a president. All right. Some people might hate me for that. I don't care because that is my stance. I will have people go against me for it. And I will also have people over there like, fuck yeah. I'm doing that to create a divide, right? I already see. I'm, I'm not doing that to piss people off. I'm doing that to show people where I stand on a, on a specific topic. We do this with business. We do this with life, parenting, hobbies, like you name it. That's, that's why it's my personal brand. If someone doesn't like me, fuck them. It's not going to change anything for me, but it's going to allow me to find out who agrees with me. I might gain, I might gain a follower. I might gain a friend. Right, I, I might, I might lose a friend. Long. You know, <laughs> just just an example. Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> and, and, and totally fine. I, I totally think fine. I think the the one thing, like, 
this will sound kind of contradictory. You will want to potentially have one main arena for monetization. Yeah. Say that's like in a specific type of arena or space, but that doesn't, but as far as like content and aware, awareness, like we want to attack as many different angles, interests, passions, hobbies, because it's, it's all just breeding attention and awareness to yourself. But ultimately you probably would want to pick one arena of potential monetization vehicles. The focus. Yeah. And, and the reason I mentioned that is because it doesn't, you don't want like one day in your content to be like, Hey, you know, I'm going to show you how to lose weight and do all this different type of stuff. And then on the other side of it, it's like, Hey, fuck dieting. Let's, let's build a business. And it, it just is lack of congruency. So like one main arena for monetization would be advantageous, but as far as content and per, like attention stuff, there, there's no rules. There's two main things in business that we need to really entice or sell people on. And, and one is the brand. And that's you as a person, human, you know, pet parent, husband, wife, you know, whatever. And then your actual offer, which is the, the monetization vehicle. And that's it. Right? Those, are, those are like the two main things we're actually selling people on uh, in general. Right. So, so I'm sorry. You're good. Well, this, so will this new, this product, will you help people with that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The ultimate, the ultimate goal for the eight weeks is to help you. Obviously it will change depending on where you're currently at in business, but the ultimate goal is to help you get clear on a, an actual offer. And then we want to help you create the offer like hands-on help, right? Write an offer, how we would write our own offers. Uh, help you map out a content plan and and ultimately start making some sales into this actual offer. Um, but it might, like if you haven't ever created content, that, that might be difficult, but we can still help you get some pieces in place. Um, but yeah, the ultimate goal is to help you personalize this process in your own business with a plan to follow. Right? And I think I know the answer to this next one. I just need you guys to say it. So I want to make sure that that whoever I hand my money over to to help me get this business launched is going to push me until it happens. Yes. On one condition. Okay. Now, we've had a we've had a lot of people pay us, you know, to help them, and then they fight us on what we tell them to I'll do. I'll fight you. I'll be coachable. Okay. I, okay. I, I, I not... might I might voice my opinion because I'm very opinionated. <laughs> yes. Okay. But I I will I will follow direction. Perfect. And and. In that in that case, then yes, we we do try and push people, you know what I mean, but not like in a, a ash holish way. But it's like, look, if you're wanting to do this, here's what we would do based on how we have done it already, right? Flip, and you then, talk a lot about being an asshole, but I just don't think you qualify. <laughs> don't let anybody know. <laughs> okay, sorry, no one heard that. You're good. Thank yeah. you guys. Yeah, it's a, it's a different uh it's a different setting for sure. It's a different uh definitely our our goal is to obviously push folks, which is un, it's it's hard it's tricky at times, but um the 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 biggest thing is like following the plan. Like realistically, we're not we're not creating this placebo of a plan like if you guys look at the training we ran today, we're we're doing this exact thing right now. Like we're in this process with you guys. Um, so we're not writing you a plan because it's not what we would follow. But that's the biggest thing is like, you know, we've we've written content plans for people or wrote offers for people and, and they never use them. And it's like, well, you know, that's the only thing we ask is if we're going to have you on board or anybody on board that you're you're ready to at least give it the 60 days minimum a try because, you know, we're going to go out of our way to, personalize and do these things for you so like you know as that yeah. saying goes scratch my back i'll scratch yours or whatever like you know yeah yeah four hundred thousand dollars in the bank to get to bend so i'm committed <laughs> exactly and you know, i know I but, hey bend ain't cheap i just moved out here so <laughs> I, I will say that you're right lauren i'm not really an asshole i, I might have some asshole ways on how i say certain things but i think my biggest weakness is caring too much at times because like i've seen some really cool stuff happen 
when folks focus for long enough. And like, I, I hate seeing folks get sidetracked. Like it, mm -hmm. it, it, and this goes for me and Nathan, but both, it bothers us personally to where like, damn it. Like they just lost all their momentum because they didn't go for another week or another month. Well, you so, have my permission to whack me upside the head. Digitally. <laughs> digitally, yes. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean that that's the that's probably one of the hardest uh you know, it's gonna sound very cliche, but like genuinely wanting people to win online and like watching people this happened a lot last year too, like a bunch of new programs and stuff popped out and we had a bunch of clients who were like, Hey, we were probably gonna do this and we were like, Yeah, I mean that's fine, but we still need to focus on this other piece and then they they don't and then a lot of them aren't even around anymore. And, and that's probably the, the hardest part to watch. Like, yeah, it sucks to see because at the end of the day, people run their own businesses. They have their own brands. They make their own decisions. And we're not here saying like, you know, my decisions are better than anybody else's. That's not what I'm trying to say, but it's definitely one like, of the hardest parts about being a mentor or working intimately so with people is, is watching so them do things that potentially could ruin their business or, take them away from, you know, they come in and they have this ultimate goal. And then, then, you know, this online game is very easy to like, Oh, there's this thing over here and this thing over here. And then next thing, you know, you got 17 different things going on and, uh, you end up getting stuck. Um, it's, 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 it's hard. Right. And, and, and that's coming from my own experience. Like that's what kept me going in circles stuck for a very long time. Um, uh, and like, even to this day, like it, when people, we've made it a point to simplify our business as much as we possibly can for that very reason. Like to this day, we really only sell two things, membership core. That's it really. That's, that's like our business as a whole. And that's kind of all we're running because we ended what 2022, we launched all these different products, programs, offers. And it was like, fuck, we have so many different things. Affiliates were confused, were confused. Like, am I talking to this person? Are they buying this? Like, it's like it's just too much, right? Like so. Yeah. Um, but that's it. Appreciate okay. that tonight. I message. I'm interested. I want to know more. Cool. Right on. We got a we got a handful of messages. So as soon as uh we finish up with Q and A, we'll we'll get back to everyone for sure. And um, I, I mean, absolutely no pressure either way. Like if you guys are here and, and you're kind of new to us and you have questions around anything, don't. Don't hesitate to uh, drop them. We're, we're more than happy yeah. to riff on whatever. Like, I know there was some people in here that were like, hey, I'm just getting started and, like, don't know anything about us. You want to potentially learn where to get started in our free groups? Then let us know because we're, again, if you've never seen us before, we don't expect you to, like, come buy anything from us. That's not how this game usually ends up yeah, working. We won't so. even make you an offer. Put it that way. If If you're brand new to us, we probably won't make you. No, bro. Uh, that's the reality of it. <clears throat> Any other uh, questions you guys got? If not, we'll let y'all go. I know some of y'all have been rocking with us for like almost four hours now. Probably ready to go take some shots to the head or something. <laughs> Friday somewhere, right? <laughs> go rinse my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll give you guys 30 seconds in case there's a lag. Any any questions at all? So while I'm waiting on that 30 seconds, if you're not in, in our free group, we've literally got a free course in there to help anyone get started, even if they've never done anything at all. Like the only reason why you, you won't get something started is because you're lazy and you just don't implement what you learn. And that's, that's me calling you out. All right. It's the only reason. I love you, though. All of you. I got to go pick up my dog, eat the vet. Thank you so much, guys. Hope the pup's right all on. right. Thank you, Miss Lauren. Bye-bye. Questions going once, going twice. Sold to the man in orange. I'm about to get out of here. I crack myself up sometimes. All right.
All right, guys. Well, I hope you all have a, a kick-ass rest of your Tuesday. If you think of a question later, you can reach us in the free group or pop us a message. Glad to be answering anything. Um, thanks, Tanae. The rest of you all have a kick-ass day. Go get after it. Do it messy. It's always better messy. Take that how you want it. All right. And I'll uh, get this replay uploaded, and uh, I'll probably end up putting it in the free group. So if you're not in there, shamelessly, go join uh, if you want yep. this replay. So I think most of you guys are already in there, though. So, yeah. All right, guys. You have a kick-ass day. Bye. Love, peace, chicken grease.